Now, before we get into the video, if you could go subscribe to Iron Jim Gamer, aka Jake, he's one catalyst for the Batman Arkham 2019 thing, and he basically helped me come up with this video idea a while ago. I just never really talked about it. And he's very close to a thousand subscribers. So if we could get him to a thousand subscribers very soon, that would be amazing. You guys are always supportive uh, with whoever I shout out. So go ahead, go subscribe to him. He makes awesome content. And yeah, enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Salvage here, and today we're gonna be talking about Batman Arkham 2019 and why the next Batman game if it's rather coming out this year or whenever why the next Batman game needs to bring back the multiplayer from Batman Arkham Origins now I believe that the multiplayer from Batman Arkham Origins is kind of underrated but at the same time I see why people don't like it the the <laughs> matchmaking was pretty shitty uh, the overall connection of the match was pretty bad the servers weren't that good you know and it wasn't refined but if you refine it if you take the years to refine that type of multiplayer there was so much potential there there was so much that you can do with a multiplayer like that like starting off with like the villains right if you have like the villains like Joker and Bane like you can bring them back right but you could also have if the if the game does feature the core vows you can have Talon be one of the characters he can swing on top and, uh, and try to find Batman up there and fight him up there. That'd be crazy, right? And like the multiplayer. You could have Harley Quinn. You could have Deathstroke, Deadshot. You could have Black Mask. You could have almost all of the villains and have them have their own separate abilities. And then you can also bring in heroes as well, like Batman, Robin, Batgirl. If you wanted to, you could do Red Hood, I guess. Uh, you can have Azrael. You can do just a, a, a bunch of different ideas for it and not only that but you can give each one of them like customizable options from the dc comics from you know uh, the last few decades so joker has different skins you know stuff like that uh, that would be awesome if you had like Talon. Talon could have his different eras. So like you know, if you remember back in the Court of Owls storyline, uh, I don't know if you actually saw one of the Court of Owls from uh, Alan Wayne's era, but like when you see the older versions, uh, I believe it was actually Alfred Pennyworth's uh, grandfather or something or dad. Like when you see that one, holy shit! If you could get different skins for the talents, that'd be awesome. The gameplay could be refined; it could be way more smooth. Uh, overall, I think that you know the the gameplay in the first game was fine, but you could easily make it better. Uh, I honestly believe that overall, the customizable options of like a Batman multiplayer game and the overall fact that you can play as Batman, Robin, the thugs, and the villains, I think that that's just like a, a perfect multiplayer ready to happen if it's done right, if it's made by the right people, and if there's enough care with it. And, you know, if we're going to be comparing it to anything, I think that if they're going to be trying to make it feel like anything, they should try to make it feel like Last of Us or the Uncharted multiplayers because those are, you know, single player games that have very underrated multiplayers, but the multiplayers are so fun. They're so good. They really, really are. If you've never played the Last of Us multiplayer, it is very, very intense. It's very, very good. And I think that if, you know, they put enough effort into it, they can literally do the same thing with Batman Arkham. Uh, and have a multiplayer that is, you know, put into all of those games that is literally underrated, but it's really, really good. The only thing that you would have to do is refine the Arkham Origins style. You can have different maps from the different uh, Arkham games. You can have different maps from all over the DC universe, like from Metropolis and from, you know, uh, Central City and, you know, stuff like that. You can have, like, you know, just a bunch of different things added into this type of game, added into this type of multiplayer, and I think it would be fantastic. Personally, I think that, you know, if this Batman game doesn't have it, if they decide to continue with the series, like after this next Batman game, which, I mean, let's just, I mean, let's just be real. It's most likely going to be a Batman game. If they continue on with one more, I really hope that that last one has multiplayer, like a really flushed out, really well done multiplayer. And not to mention WB Montreal, who is developing this potential next Batman game, is also working on some multiplayer stuff for their second game. Because uh, Suicide Squad, which was uh, one of their games that was canceled, is, I mean, it was canceled, but like they're still looking for people for multiplayer so it's gonna be interesting to see what their second game is and I really hope that they bring in that aspect of multiplayer with these DC characters and that would be very very cool but also I hope that they take those elements from that multiplayer DC game and they put them into a Batman Arkham game in that multiplayer that would be very fantastic that would be really flawless and I hope that one day they do it so thank you guys for watching Tell me what features you think that we can have in the next Batman Arkham multiplayer if they ever have one. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys are new. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.